This is a new series that I'm going to do based on the social justice warriors community. I'm starting to notice a trend as more and more social justice warriors are leaving social media like YouTube because either they've been exposed for who they are, got in trouble with the law, or even both. Now, for this series, I'm going to talk about events around a month ago. Starting with Sarah Nyberg, a.k.a. Sarah Butts. Now, this particular person has been a massive critic of Gamergate on Twitter, but after some deep investigation on who this person is, it turns out that Sarah has been shown to be sending child pornography to folks. There's even loads of evidence that she's been sending child porn. However, the anti-Gamergate community has gotten so desperate that they need to destroy the evidence. And people like Todd in the Shadows, that one music critic, has given out support like the good little drone he is. Luckily for us, Sarah is not getting away scot-free, as Milo, aka the sexiest man alive, pretty much exposed her, and the parents are now fully aware of Sarah's actions, even though Sarah should be in jail for doing this crime. Honestly, I'm not going to go into too much details about it, the whole Sarah Nyberg thing, so I'll just leave a link to Leo Pirate's videos. Now we're dealing with Laughing Witch. About a week ago, Laughing Witch with a couple of other YouTubers, including the Wilder Ape and Kevin Logan, has sent a letter to Thunderfoot Boss claiming that Dr. Mason is basically a supporter of Nazism and sends over his fans to harass Anita. This is of course wrong, and no one should go into someone's personal life unless this person is doing something illegal such as pedophilia. Not only has this failed, but it's backfired badly. She's gotten so much hate for it, and she revealed her own name, yet claiming to be Dogs by Thunderfoot. Because that's fucking logic right there. And it turns out that she's making a Kickstarter in order to pay her debts. She's has made an apology video, which, let's face the facts, she's not really all that sincere, seeing that she claims that Thunderfoot's followers are Nazis themselves, and wanted to use Kevin Logan as a proxy for her apology. Now, really, that's a stupid idea, because Kevin Logan is not the kind of guy who is willing to be sincere for his actions. And plus, he sounds like a total asshole. So, Laughing Witch is no longer on YouTube. A pity. Now we have Hannibal the Vector 13, who's been registered as a sex offender, corrupting a minor. Now, originally, I thought that Hannibal closed his account because it's most likely the same reason that Sequester Zone or Unseen Profiti did it. Just gotten tired of YouTube. Really, I did not care much about it, but when I found out from Fun With Logic that Hannibal was registered as a sex offender, I just had to make this video, and it felt all too familiar. Who else did act like a pedophile? Of course, Sarah Nyberg. Seeing that social justice warriors are trying to normalize pedophilia, one must ask, are these people really okay to have pedophiles on their team? Are these people really okay with pedophilia? Are these people are also trying to go in to normalize zoophilia and necrophilia because it's just another form of sexual orientation? It comes to show that these social justice warriors are finally showing their true colors. I would not be all that surprised if people like Jenny McDermott or Kevin Logan end up molesting a child because social justice warriors seem to think that being a pedophile is A-OK -okay as long as you do it under the name of equality and political correctness. And I have a feeling in the future there will be some drama stirring up. This goes especially for Jenny McDermott because this woman is nothing more than a mere attention whore. But sooner or later, social justice warriors like Jenny will get into so much deep shit that they can't even use their gender as a shield. Therefore, they may end up closing their YouTube account because of the things that they've done. Which is why this is just part one of the series of the fall of the social justice warriors. Now really, some of these social justice warriors might stay even after they've been exposed. But for the most part, these events have left a big hole in their part. And who knows? Maybe major new outlets and many other people will see them for who they are. And understand why people like myself oppose them. 
Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. Social justice, one, two, three. Hey, hey, I wanna be PC. Hey, hey,